it might be more expensive in the high season because they usually change prices depending on the season and how many tourists are uh, coming to Thailand which right now there's uh, <laughs> no tourists in Thailand so you can get a huge room like this for a pretty good price What's up guys, Vigorous Steve here. So we're on our way to Pattaya with a private taxi from Cherry Taxi. I'll link it down below in case you're interested in scheduling a taxi from the airport or anywhere in Bangkok to Pattaya. So we usually take a private taxi when we travel there. You can also take a bus or a transport from the airport directly and soon there's going to be a bullet train from the airport directly into Pattaya, but that might take a few more years before that's actually finished. So for now, the best way to travel to Pattaya is by taking a private taxi. So we're gonna do some vlogging for you guys. Um, hopefully uh, not too much during this, uh, you know, a roller coaster a taxi trip because the road is very, very bumpy. Um, yeah, that's kind of the Thai roads, you know, something you uh, learn to live with. So stay tuned for all the cool vlogging content coming right up. All right, guys, so we just got our coffee at the rest stop. Let me give you guys a little bit of a brief show around, not a reach around, show around of the rest stop. All right, so you come from this direction. Right, this is where you enter. The Starbucks is very, very close. So to make sure you don't miss it if you want to get a coffee in and if you want to go to the bathroom because this is probably the best bathroom you'll find at this rest stop. They have a couple public bathrooms in the middle and at the end, but um, yeah, they're not as clean as the Starbucks one. So there's a couple different places you can go. I hope you can see it. So they got a McDonald's, a Burger King, a 7-Eleven, a KFC, plenty of food choices. They've got a lot of different stalls where you can have some snacks. And this is probably the best way to kind of break your two hour trip on the way to Pattaya to uh, get some snacks in and get your beverage done. Get a little bathroom break and then you're on your merry way. And you got a nice big Camry. So if you're a big bodybuilder, this holds three bodybuilders and two suitcases in the back. So you don't have to worry about being uncomfortable. So while we're in a rented car, we might as well touch on the subject of renting a car or owning a car in Thailand which in many cases, especially if you live in the bigger cities, it's kind of unnecessary because you can rent taxis anywhere. And a taxi like this from Bangkok to Pattaya is about 1200 baht, including the highway fee. So you pay about a thousand for the transport and 200 baht extra for the highway fee. So that it's pretty much $40, right? For a two, two hour trip, let's say, with a little stopover. So in that case, it's way better just to rent cars occasionally with the driver, kick back, get some work done, and uh, don't have to worry about the, the traffic here, which is a little bit different than the Western world. So I do drive motorbike in the cities, but driving from city to city, I prefer to get a taxi or a grab car or wherever else and get driven there. It's certainly a lot more convenient and um, right, allows you to do something else while you're on the way. What's up, guys? We're here at the Royal Beach Hotel, which is very close to the muscle factory itself. It's maybe two minutes, three minutes walk. The muscle factory is that black building right over there. So two minutes walk. That's why I chose to stay at Royal Beach every single time I come to Pattaya. And it's also because the rooms are very big. So let me give you guys a quick room tour so you know what to expect if you decide to stay here as well. Hello. Opening to put your motorbike helmets in case you rent a motorbike, which I always do. It's a much better way to transport. So the reason why I chose this room is because there's a proper kitchen. So you can just set up your laptop here. You can do your dishes. You can do your cooking if you got an electric stove. So I have an electric stove and I always make sure that I bring that with me. me switch hands because this camera is mad heavy. Couple extra space to put your stuff. Let me give you a little bit of an insight into the bathroom. So this room's got two bathrooms. All right, we just moved in, so everything is still unused. It's a nice spacious room. Right, these are about 80 square meters. I'll calculate how much feet that is down below. So there's a lot of space in this room. Decent television. I would advise everybody to bring their own 
HDMI cable, right? So just bring this with you whenever you travel through Thailand. Because most rooms will have some sort of a TV. And they can just hook them up to your laptop and Netflix and chill. Or download a movie and chill for those um, right, lonely hours of the day where you have nothing else to do. Hopefully the camera doesn't fog. So let me give you some of the view. It's a big building called Sands. You can actually do long-term rentals here. So if you only want to stay two or three days, Sands isn't really an option. But they do offer in this building with a ton of floors. They do offer some monthly or six months contracts. And the rooms are very, very nice as well. This is the view from Royal Beach. Still a bit of construction going on, but that's always the case here in Thailand. So not only is it three minutes walk to the muscle factory, it's a 30 second walk to the beach. I mean, it's got a kitchen, it's close to the gym and it's close to the beach. What, what more do you want guys? And it's also very, very quiet. So it's away from any of the entertainment areas. There are a couple bars here in Pratamnak area, but they're at least five minutes away. So you don't you, you'll get a good night's rest here it's not like you know some of the bars are going to blast music all night long that doesn't happen when you stay here because it's so close to the beach and it's reasonably quiet and if you are looking for a hotel somewhere in Pattaya do a little bit of a google map search around the area because the last thing you want is to book a hotel you go there during the day everything is closed you check in you're like oh man i'm in the green i'm gonna have a good night's sleep no, because in some areas there's a lot of bars, a lot of entertainment. There will be loud music blasting until midnight, 2 o'clock, sometimes even 4 o'clock in the morning. And unless you're living to that schedule, uh, yeah, you're not going to sleep too well. And well, we all know that sleep is highly anabolic. And this is where the sleeping happens. Right? Nice bedroom. This is a king size bed. Probably not the best mattress for bodybuilders, but don't expect uh, phenomenal mattresses when you're staying here, unless you're staying in a five-star hotel. So this is, I have no idea how many stars this is. I would say it's a three-star three hotel. We're paying about 1500 baht for this room, but it might be more expensive in the high season because they usually change prices depending on the season and how many tourists are uh, coming to Thailand, which right now there's uh, <laughs> no tourists in Thailand. So you can get a huge room like this for a pretty good price. Let's see, so this is the bedroom. And this is the main bathroom of the room. It's very spacious, although there's no bathtub, it does get the job done. Right, all the usual stuff you would expect from a decent bathroom. You got a double mirror, so you can check yourself out. Right, it's always obligatory. And see if you still have some uh, peak action in the back going on and, and a little bit of space for your clothes and all that stuff i got the limited edition brazzers shirt from joe Aesthetics. this is number 74 i actually requested 69 but i was not able to get that lucky uh, maybe somebody else got lucky and got 69 instead so this is pretty much the room it's quite nice it's got sliding doors everywhere so it's quiet unless you slam them uh, like I do and if you do want to get a nap in during the day these you can close and it's pretty dark so if you want to nap during the day most of these curtains in the hotels in patty are blinding enough that the room is reasonably dark so you should be able to sleep uh, until the afternoon if you want to you know if you've been partying hard all night and i would also recommend you guys before you really settle in a room to listen to the air conditioning right because not everybody of you guys that come to thailand when you sleep in a room with air conditioning you're going to be used to the noise so this is the air conditioning right here blasting at high speeds let me give you guys a, a second or two to um, assess how loud that is right, so if you're not used to this noise and you come here for the first time and you're like man what is this humming noise in the background you know you get annoyed then well the best thing you can do for yourself is to get a couple earplugs right earplugs go a long way in thailand so even if you stay in a place like this where it's very far from the bars as long as you got a good set of earplugs a good set of earplugs you should be able to sleep properly right and no need for um 
special herbal supplements or uh, medications required to get your sleep in. So that's pretty much the room. Right, nice and spacious, not too expensive. Options to cook. Decent internet, not fast enough to upload videos to YouTube, unfortunately, but it's fast enough to do a cryptocurrency trading or check your email or upload stuff to Instagram, right? It's fast enough for that. But don't expect in most of the hotels, unfortunately, to have super fast internet where you can uh, upload gigabytes of videos to YouTube. So that is going to have to wait until I get back home. All right, so this is a much better viewpoint compared to Big Buddha. So let's have a look. This is the Navy Station viewpoint. And you can see everything that is patio from right here. So normally walking street would be somewhere there, but that's closed currently. So we drove through it yesterday, which normally would not be able to be possible. But nowadays, since every bar in walking street is closed, you can just drive through it with your motorbike. And there's nobody there. So you can get a great view from patio here. It's the best place to watch the sunset properly. And they announce where they put the sunset right here. So, today the sunset is going to be at 6.33, but we got a dinner appointment at 6.33, so we won't be able to see the sunset today, but maybe we can come back for a beautiful sunset tomorrow. Now, don't be like me when you're in a hurry to come here. I would advise everybody to come here when it's cloudy. Okay, you don't get the best view, but if it's sunny, like it is today, you're soaked in a matter of minutes. What's up guys, we're at the Cajun Life Cafe where they prepare a lot of foods that is totally bodybuilding friendly, fresh, made to order. So you recommended this place, Sebastian recommended us this place. I recommended this place because I order here every day since I think four or five weeks or yeah since five weeks. So they make everything what you what you want, you know. As you can tell them the amount, you can tell them how you want the how you want the meals exactly and do the, everything how it fits to your diet. So you just get the meal plan and then they make it fresh for you. Yes. So that's perfect. So we just made, uh, we got some good food from the menu because we're on holiday and we just had a heavy workout. So this is very nice food, a lot of Cajun and some egg benedicts, a Caesar salad. Man, super healthy, super clean. Very close to the muscle factory. It's about two minutes away by walking, 30 seconds by bike, you know, if you know how to find it. So they also do meal prep, so if you come here, you don't need to look for a meal prep service, just go to Cajun Life Cafe. They'll prepare everything fresh for you, just give them your meal plan around or before three o'clock and everything will be fresh. <laughs> everything will be fresh to, by the next day. I'll put the social media links down below so you can have a look. See you guys there.